Good morning, my friend. Welcome to another session with me, Monica. Uh, thank you for joining me. And today we're going to be doing a sunrise flow. So maybe you just woke up and you just feel a little bit kinks all over your body. So today we're going to do a full body yin yoga series. So um, grab your mat and I'll see you there. So today let's start off with one leg in front of us, which would be the left. And just bring the right one inside and we're just going to put our body weight forward to the leg and flex the foot to keep it engaged and you're just going to pulse to the right this is going to alleviate any abdominal pain or some cramps that you're having that you're experiencing just massaging the abdominal muscles and as you're here you could just also just massage your shin getting familiar with where you hold some tension some knots and then just going a little bit deeper by taking the right hand to the outside of that leg and then turning over to the left so as we're in this pose we're not slouching our shoulders we want to keep the shoulders high as we open them so we're gonna do more a yin series so we're doing some yin with with some longer holds and as we're in this pose we're just gonna inhale through your nose and exhale out through your mouth and each time you exhale try to just lean a little bit further to the left opening up that shoulder opening up our back And today our series is going to be about waking up in the morning and doing some stretches to open ourselves for the day. Maybe you woke up with your low back hurting or your upper back hurting. So this practice will be a full body yin series in the morning. And then take that left hand and put it back on your ankle and again just massaging that shin saying good morning to our leg and then you can take your right hand and bring it over your head and again focusing on that shoulder make sure it's not rounded we're opening it up and bringing it up and back and as you have started your day how did you start your day what did you think about when you woke up were you anxious were you nervous were you happy what did you do when you first woke up did you look on your phone did you make tea or coffee have you eaten already or did you start your day with this practice so if you did good morning and welcome to my porch <laughs> and inhale and exhale so every morning now I've started or at least I've started to um, listening to a song and dancing so I've been dancing with some of my plants as I'm watering watering my porch and I have a kitten too and we've sometimes I try to dance with her but she just runs away she does her own thing but I love saying good morning to her. She likes to sleep with me. And then I try to not look at my notifications. And if I don't get too overly excited or anxious about not checking them, I'll go and turn on Spotify and find a song that I like. And that will help start my morning. Okay. And then let's come out of the pose. It's doing a slightly counter balance for the other side and then just shaking them out in the middle and then coming to the opposite side flexing that foot keeping it engaged and then turning the body to the right side and then lowering yourself down inhale and exhale and as you exhale try to lower yourself a little bit to the ground again we're just focusing on opening up our digestive system massaging those abdominal muscles 
and simply opening up our leg. It's really easy to have tight hamstrings. That's one of my big issues that I deal with on a daily. My legs are always super tight. So I try to do this pose or some other poses that we're going to be doing to help open them up. And just because we do it daily, it doesn't mean that we're going to be flexible for the rest of our lives. we got to keep doing it little by little. And maybe we will never reach to the point of splits or to an end goal with our flexibility with doing these poses. But for me, I feel that it's important just to be present in them and thanking our body for being tight or not tight. But where it is, is enough because it feels really good right now. So that's why I'm doing it. And that's why you're doing it too. So let's open up that shoulder. So take the left hand to the outside of that leg, to that shin, and then open yourself up. Inhale and exhale again. Focusing on your posture, making sure that chest is nice and high. You can bend this elbow. That way you can help yourself with opening to the back side. And what do you see? What do you hear? I just saw a butterfly. I see palm trees. I see plumeria, flowers, white ginger. I see the clouds are moving. What is it that you see? Try to find some stillness while you're in this pose by looking at your surroundings. So that way you don't have to worry about your tight hamstrings or your tight legs or hips. Focus on your surroundings and then surrender to the pose. That's what's going to help you feel better in your body. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Come back to center and open up that chest. Should feel really good. Smile. Good morning. And then just counter it. And let's come back, or let's go into a straddle, getting yourself comfortable, and grabbing your ankles, and then grabbing your knees, going to your ankles and your knees. Again, just focusing on that abdominal, focusing on your chest, keeping it high, just massaging those abdominal muscles. And then let's hold our ankles. Maybe you want to reach behind your ankles. You can even bend your knees slightly so that way you can bend through the low back. Again, we're not slouching. We are lifting and moving forward. Inhale and exhale. Inhale. Maybe if you have some blocks, you can have some blocks to help you lift your chest high. Like so. So keeping the chest, the blocks here, and then resting yourself. Now if you don't have blocks, you can take a pillow or just go back to the neutral, neutral stance of this. This is just going to help you not round your shoulders completely or bend through that low back. Really digging into those hamstrings, digging into your legs. Maybe you feel the intensity, just like the intensity of the wind is coming right now. Inhale and exhale. You can remove your blocks if you have them. And just keep stretching, keep breathing. And the breeze has settled just like the pain has settled. And let's bring your right knee in. We're just going to do a small twist over to the right side. You can bring your hand up. We're bringing it down and then looking to the back side. Looking over your right shoulder, flexing that foot, keeping it engaged. Inhale and exhale. So here we're working on our shoulder, just opening up that shoulder. So we moved from our legs, from massaging our abdominals, and now we're going into our shoulders. So just moving on up. Inhale 
and exhale inhale and exhale the thing that I like about yin is that you can stay longer in a pose and then you can really figure out how your mind is what is it thinking about where it's going and you can just sit in one pose and just really calm yourself down finding the stillness in the pose but my favorite part is when you unwind from the pose and you feel the little tingles in your cells just radiating just being super happy and blissful that release is really why I love to do yin yoga and that release is why I hope you also like to come back on your mat okay just a couple more seconds deep inhale try to look a little bit more back can you see if you can twist a little bit higher lift your chest up inhale and exhale look back inhale try to just move your gaze a little bit more to the right a little bit more but being mindful of your neck not overdoing it for five four three two and one so we come back shake out those legs and let's switch sides so again you can just place your elbow to the outside of that knee and then gently placing your hand by your hip and then looking back keeping the chest high keeping the chest open looking back and then if you want you can have your palm up so just help with that twist Sometimes I feel I get a little bit more when I place my hand down. Inhale and exhale. Then look at your foot. See, I was just highlighting my foot just hang around. But if you flex it, it's going to help you get that posture up higher. It's going to help you be more in tune with your body as you're activating from the foot all the way up to the top of your head. And the top of your head is called the crown chakra. So that's where you can open up the channels of communicating with, say, your higher self, with God, with your angels, anyone else that you want to talk to. So you can tap the top of your head as many times as you want, just very gently, just patting it. And that will help activate your crown. You can also think of a white light cleansing and opening up this area envisioning that white light just going through the whole body just cleansing your energy cleansing your aura and allowing any messages to come through yin yoga is also good for that because it helps you calm your body get in tune with your breath instead of focusing on the next pose or the next next transition when we do uh, vinyasa or some core power or any other faster movements in yoga in the yin you really just settle into that one pose and you get to tune in to anyone that is around you and talking to you whether it's your guides your angels whoever it is that is with you perhaps it's an animal that's around if you're outside or the plants and the trees everybody has someone has a message for you and the longer you hold the pose the longer that you calm down the more you're able to hear, to hear the whispers, to hear the gentle messages. And again, inhale, and then look a little bit more to the left. Allow that gaze to go slightly more and more to the left. Inhale, lift the chest, exhale. Lean a little bit further back, making sure the right foot is engaged inhale and exhale good and coming back to neutral shaking out the legs saying good morning to our legs good morning legs and again just reaching for those ankles and your knees your ankles and your knees and your low back is probably feeling it right now so let's come on down completely to the ground lowering ourselves and bringing our knees into the chest and just shaking a little bit to the left and to the right 
going into a circle just feeling out our body feeling what it needs it's really really thankful right now and if you don't feel that it is thankful it really is okay so now we're going to bring um, our hands to the outside of our feet and just bring them out into a happy baby and again you can keep rocking side to side just opening up those hips again opening up those tight hamstrings so we're going to be here for a little bit longer again for about two to three minutes so as we're in this pose you could just close your eyes if that feels comfortable you can keep them open maybe you're have a nice view and you can just gaze at the dancing palm trees or the clouds or the rising sun where are you this morning where are you this morning and if you're inside your home you could just tune into your body tune in to the sounds maybe you're listening to a good playlist to a song just tune into that by to that frequency I have a plane that's hovering above me so I'm just tuning into that sound to that vibration just allowing it to go through my feet and through my body allowing the sound to clear my thoughts, to settle my thoughts. Maybe you hear a dog barking or some cars passing. Just allow those sounds to just settle your thoughts. And I know it is the morning, so maybe you're not thinking too much yet. Maybe you're thinking about what you'll do for the rest of the day how many things you need to get done. Just drop those right now and just be here in this moment with the sounds, with the vibrancy, with the vibrations. And each time you exhale, just allow the low back to relax, to find the eases with the earth. And this is really good to just tense the shoulders and tense the low back in this pose. Really try to surrender, try to let go. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Good. Let's lower those knees, lower your heels to the ground, having them into the savasana, extending out, reaching out into a full body stretch, feeling from fingertips to your toes, pointing your toes. Just sending the new energy in, accepting the new energy from the sun, from the earth. And I'm sending you energy too, some healing energy to raise your vibration for your day. Sending you love, sending you love, 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 love. This energy is for you. This energy will help you throughout the day. And when you feel a little bit stressed, just think about the love that I have sent you, the love that you can carry throughout the day, so that when you feel a little bit stressed, know that I am with you, that I am here, helping you come back to the present moment, coming back to the breath. So inhale, reach a little bit further, then bring your arms back to center and stay here as long as you need to in the savasana. But I'm going to end the 
class right here. So thank you for practicing with me. Thank you for practicing with yourself this morning. Good morning. Good morning, body. When you're ready, just roll over to one side. And thank you for practicing with me this morning. I'm happy to be with you in this morning routine. So be sure to share this video with just one person. Be sure to subscribe and like this video for more. Have a beautiful day.